Are you ready to take your podcast to the next level? You need a team that knows no two podcasts are the same and work hard to ensure that your unique voice shines through in every episode. Let We Edit Podcast be your secret weapon. Tell them Gigi sent you. Go to weeditpodcasts.com forward slash Gigi. That's weeditpodcast.com forward slash G-I-G-I. Gigi M. Green presents Stone. Previously on Stone. Bishop attends the funeral of Detective Knox and finds out his mother's killer is soon to be released, reawakening his depression and sending him spiraling. Nathaniel is beaten in prison and accused of snitching while Norman is kidnapped. Now for Stone Episode 2. The smell of bacon fills the room as Coltrane plays throughout the house. Both the gun and the whiskey bottle are now gone. Shit. Bishop grabs his t-shirt and follows the smell. Da, 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 da. Good morning, grandson. Chief Elder, dressed in an Armani suit, stands in the kitchen cooking. Morning, sir. Nice suit. Aren't you a little overdressed for breaking the entry? Uh, last time I checked, the house was still under my name. But I buy all the food. That's gotta be worth half. Mm. Just checking in on you. I can't visit family? The chief hands him a plate of eggs. There you go. Tempt me with one of your famous omelets. Man, it's good. But I've got everything under control. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Why did I find you sleeping with a gun in your hand and a bottle in the other? It's not what you think. Uh, don't lie to me, son. I know life hasn't been easy since the death of your mother for either of us. But maybe we could change your medication or... I said I'm fine. Sorry, sir. Oh, Okay. I left you a gift on the sink. I plan to see you at the graduation. You need to make a good impression. I'll be there. Bishop finds a small paper bag inside the bathroom. Inside an unlabeled bottle of Prozac with a note to help you relax. He tosses it under the sink, joining many other unopened bottles. The armed man now drives Mr. Shane's car into a parking garage. He wipes his steering wheel and the door, throws his hoodie over his face, and walks away. From the car, we hear a phone ring. Where are you? You've been gone all night. I'm so worried. Just want to take a quick minute to let you in on a little secret. If you want some of your time back, try weeditpodcast.com, where you even get a free trial episode to sample their process. Don't forget to tell them Gigi sent you by going to weeditpodcast.com. Gigi, that's weeditpodcast.com forward slash G-I-G-I. Now, back to Stone. Chief Stone, now dressed in full uniform stands at the podium speaking to the graduating class. As I look out at the class of 517, I see many of you filled with eagerness and potential. These are trying times, and crime is, unfortunately, always at our doorstep. We are an elite team who protect and serve. And now you do, too. Recruits, attention! You are now a member of my family, and families protect each other. You will always be watched, so strive for greatness at all times. Sir, yes, sir! 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with my distinct honor that I present this year's class of new district police officers. Make me proud. Sir, yes, sir! Great speech. And it never gets old. How you holding up, son? You know, face in the place. Hey, as long as you're here, detective. Thought your Diaz would be here too. Gonna visit your mom today? Yeah, she's just running a little behind. Probably picking up some for the grave. I'll call her. Guadalupe Diaz, Bishop's partner, is busy at the moment. Hello? Where are you? Uh, yeah, I I I'm coming. Wait, are you? No. Yo, don't tell me you forgot what day it is. Shit. Sorry, I'm on my way. Nah, stay. Stop, stop. I have to cut this short. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Baby, everything good? <laughs> You're always good, but uh, you gotta go. Bishop receives a tap on the shoulder. Hey, stranger. Gia? Haven't seen you since you ghosted me at the academy. <laughs> you took too long to shoot your shot. I definitely missed out. So where you at now? I'm working narcotics. Look at you. Yeah, look at me. Hey, congrats. I heard you made detective. I knew you were going places. I'm trying. Wow. It's really good to see you. We should grab a bite or something. My number is still the same. Then I'll text you. Not if you want an answer. I mean, I'll call you. The chief returns with a friend. Bishop, come here, son. He just passed the detective exam. I wanted you two to meet. Hi, I'm Lisa. New hire in administration. Nice to meet you. Wow, detective, huh? Your parents must be really proud. I hope so. They've passed away. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Lisa's thinking of trying out for the Academy. Thought you could give us some advice. I'd like that. We could grab some pizza and talk about it? You move fast. Looks like you two can take it from here. So, that was extremely forward. I'm horrible with small talk. It's fine. You seem like a woman that knows who she wants. I'll take that as a compliment. Put your number in my phone. I'll text you about that pizza. Here you go. No last name? Guess you'll have to text me to find out. Piece of work, isn't she? Uh, a little thirsty. Yeah, I call it ambition. Someone warned me once. Be careful of those who seek power. A statement by those who never had any. Look, you'll be chief someday. So don't be afraid to try on a little power sometime and see how it fits. I just want to be a good detective. And I ain't trying to shit where I eat. Ain't that against the rules? Son, I am the rules. And don't you ever forget that. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Stone Podcast series. Don't forget to leave a review and share it with others so they can enjoy it too. Follow us on Instagram at Stone Podcast Series. And of course, sign up for our email list so you can be the first to know about upcoming podcasts, more auditions, and have the chance to become a Stone VIP and have access to Stone, the after show. You don't want to miss it.